we can start. Good, Good morning, morning guys, again. Once again, uh, hope everybody is well. We are well. Um, we missed last week, didn't we? You know, before we uh, go any further, um, we need to acknowledge something. Um, we are very saddened about uh, yeah. whatever happened here at uh, Winter Street Studios with our fellow artists. The For those who haven't heard uh, and read my... Um, chat yet uh, we had a they had a, a fire going a yesterday a bomb whatever it was uh, we'll find out more soon um very dramatic very dramatic the whole building it's um, ruined the, everybody's else studios and uh, their artworks are ruined and um, it's a it's a huge loss and um, luckily no one was hurt uh, but uh, it happened about five o'clock in the morning apparently more will come out as the police do their investigations, but it appears to be arson. Uh, it was enough of a blast that it uh, blew out walls you know, on either some, side and, pictures here. and above uh, and, and structurally may have uh, affected the entire building. Um, you can see cracks in the walls. It, it was quite, quite awful. Uh, and again, people who's, Entire art inventories were there. That's where they work. Um, everybody's uh, art has been damaged or ruined by smoke, uh, soot. Uh, we happen to have a few pieces over there in an exhibition, but that's minor compared to what the people who were in that uh, building lost. Um, I mean, we are talking thousands of dollars. Oh, of God, loss. yes. Yeah, more than that hundreds of thousands, if not millions. Uh, not to mention, we don't know that the building is going to survive. Um, we don't know what kind of structural damage was done. Very, very dramatic. Very, very gruesome. Uh, but hey, if you want to donate and help those artists over in industry studios, um, look up on social media, look up on my social media as well. There is a, um, a fun going on. Um, started by the Houston Art Alliance mm -hmm. and um, they will uh, raise money and uh, release some funds for those uh, uh, who need some help. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can also donate to that fund and, and help out artists uh, who've lost everything right before Christmas. So, well, uh, right before or after, it doesn't matter. It's not a yeah. good time for yeah. such things. Uh, but let's now... Um, Get back to our uh, uh, show here. And um, the first uh, pieces of art uh, I prepare for you guys today is uh, one of mine on wood and then uh, uh, one of yours on paper. Uh, January Fox just uh, replied that she's so sorry and. Uh, uh, yeah, it is devastating, devastating. January. It, it, when you think of. of of everything that we own is in this studio, all of our work, uh, and, and they lost everything, everything. I mean, it, 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 at, at the very first st uh, view, you may see, oh, there's some paintings going on uh, that can be recovered. Well, yes and no, they cannot be recovered because the smoke got into everything. Yeah. And to do a professional cleaning on, on such a vast volume, is yeah. gonna pay for it. It's just beyond imagination. It is heartbreaking. Listen, we never did start with the uh, uh, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, just, we just got... so you, just in case you didn't know, uh, we are broadcasting on Facebook Live, but we're actually doing this through Zoom. So there's a bit of a delay between what we say and what we see in your comments. So please don't think we're ignoring you. We are keeping an eye. Uh, Vicky LeBeau is here. Hi, Vicky. Oh, my gosh. Don't look at how large I am. <laughs> and uh, let's get back to the show. And, uh, you know, the very first piece I wanted to, to uh, remind you about it is this uh, painting on wood I have done some time ago. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, has uh, all kinds of... Uh, the, I, first of all, how did I start this? You know, I, I discovered a lot of... Uh, handwritten letters from John's grandmother yeah, yeah. Uh, from the 1930s, 1940s, and they were so beautiful written. The messages really don't matter. 
but I, I thought they were so beautiful that I want to use it in some pieces of art. So uh, I incorporated these letters into these paintings. You know, you can, there, there are all kinds of uh, newspapers of the times and uh, um, letters. Uh, you can try to uh, make sense out of those, but that's not the, 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 point, the yeah. point of yeah. it. It's just the uh, texture in a way, and I find it so interesting and so lovely. And um, I wanted I wanted you to, to uh, salvage all these uh, pieces of paper, and this is how knots. And I have many others in this series that you can uh, look up on my website if you if you wish and uh, look at them. And this in particular one, some of them are uh, worked on uh, paper, some of them are worked on canvas. This in particular, it's. Uh, uh, work on uh, straight um, uh, wood board. Mm -hmm. I love the colors. The, uh, I, you've got several in this series, and I just think the colors are amazing. I love the movement. That to have that kind of secret message behind, mm -hmm. kind of fading out in the background. That history, particularly my family history, uh, is 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 important to me. But uh, it it really really adds because when you get close up to a painting, you should have a, mm -hmm. a new experience mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just think they're delightful. Because you, you can see it from the distance and it, it appears what's up here, mm -hmm. but then you get close to it and it's like, oh, 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 there's what is going on there. And you, you start to uh, make your own connections right. to the picture. Right. So yeah, I think it's a beautiful piece. It's an odd shape piece. It's like a 28 by 11, mm -hmm. 25, very, very odd. And, and, and that makes it, you know, easy, um, hangable in any spaces, you know, right. you can, you can find the space for it anywhere in any and, corner. And frankly, you could turn it horizontally as well. I don't you know can, if you yeah, signed yeah, it. I know. Uh, one of them has been purchased by, uh, Frank. Oh, lovely. Frank bought and, one. Uh, and, um, you actually design vertical, but it made sense to be horizontal as well, and he prefer horizontal. You know, this this is the beauty of abstract abstract exactly. art that you exactly. can you can play with it. You can, they have some flexibility going on. So yes, so this is notes, guys. It's available, and um, uh, if you like it, uh, please consider it. How about yours? Yes, this one is called Quadrat. Uh, uh, what I did was I did a series of mono prints with uh, post-it notes and uh, basically did layer upon layer upon layer of color and texture uh, with some ink uh, behind uh, at the very base of it all. And I think they came out really, really interesting. Each one is named square in another language. I don't remember what quadrat is, uh, what language that is, but uh, uh, it is, uh, again, a mono print, which is a, you know, in printing, you create multiple copies. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a mono print is one that is a printing technique, but it's the only one of its kind. So this is a totally unique piece. There isn't, there aren't more in that, mm -hmm. in that printing. Uh, you know, he, he, they are very interesting to me. I try to, I try to play with this idea and I didn't go anywhere. I think it takes a lot of patience to do it and it's, it's just amazing the result. Right. And you have various colors on, on, on shapes mm -hmm. of this. And you just layer one on top of the other on top of the other and then uh, lay these uh, these squares down and, uh, and, and the it's, pattern emerges. It's beautiful. I know you have it next to you and I know I, it's, I it's, it's temporary flame because uh, you have to keep it in a frame yeah but i, I do like here. the idea of having a bigger frame for yeah for, this for was this like is just this. a gallery frame to give people an idea uh they are on paper there's a number in the series and i'm going to share two of them today um but uh i just think they turned out particularly well i found them very very interesting and in fact the actual post-it notes that i used ended up being beautiful as well because they were coated with all this paint uh, and I actually sold those to uh, to a friend of ours, Ben, uh, bought that one for his home, uh, just the post-it notes. So uh, I thought it was very interesting. I love the geometrics of it, uh, and yet they kind of get softened mm -hmm. by the, the layering. Uh, it's really, really pleasant. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, those are the, this is uh, Quadrat, and uh, 
and it's available it's here. It's available at the as well as several others in that. And series. it can be shipped anywhere if you if yeah. you guys will want to collect it. Absolutely, thank you guys. Well, well, well. Uh, let's see. Let's first of all, before we go any further, um, say a big thank you to all of you who are still watching us here in in. Uh, uh, a few days of uh, before the holidays. I know it's a busy time to cook and to prepare and pack the presents, right? And the dreaded family. And uh, yeah. here we are. Uh, thank you guys for being with us and supporting us. And uh, I want to address a special thank you to Shannon Crane Design here in Houston, yes. who actually wrote to me some time ago and they purchased uh, one of uh, the inheritance uh, serious images, and this is forgotten. And I am um, so thrilled. I don't know how they found me. I, you know, basically, I think an online portfolio, and uh, there was a, it was amazing. It's a beautiful very, piece. Very, very, very honored. Thank you, guys. And we delivered it yesterday. Had it printed over at Armadillo uh, Photo Supply. Uh, so we, it, it takes a village, but it's uh, it's a beautiful piece, and I, I'm not sure where it's going, uh, but hopefully we'll get to see where it ends up. Now, uh, how about the studios? Are we open uh, before the Christmas and after Absolutely. Christmas? Absolutely, we're here. We're here during the holidays, so we're going to be here pretty much every day. Uh, and not only, with the exception of tomorrow and Friday, because we're getting ready for the big freeze. Yes, uh, and then, um, which means Saturday? Are we here Saturday? We are. Uh, we sure. I'm happy to be here Saturday. Okay, we'll we'll see. Yeah. So. Uh, as long as we can get in and out of the neighborhood guys if you my if you, cousin mary is on the line if hi you, uh are in the neighborhood here in houston and uh, you are stuck with family and have nothing to do come with the <laughs> over, uh, or you can escape street studios uh not only our studio is open though we do have an exhibition going on on yes, the hallways and that it's open doors and um, it has works of uh Around 60 artists uh, of the building. Well, there's 60 artists in the building. About 40 participated in the exhibition. Oh. And the uh, the exhibition is up uh, through the 21st of January. It's a really, really good show. And in fact, we have already, it's only been open a couple of weeks, and we have already sold eight pieces uh, out of the out of the exhibition, which is, which is a grant. Great, yeah, yeah. yeah. So come by before they're all sold. Uh, take a look. Uh, uh, as, as you say, see that one at the back wall? It just sold yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's it's a great day out. Come by and visit. Uh, have a chat. What else? We are approaching January 2023, which means my exhibition, Nature Remember, will be up starting January 1st all the way to January 28th. Um, those are phenomenal, phenomenal images, guys, and uh, I really encourage you to come and see it and collect them. Um, and I want to invite you all at the opening reception, um, and that is January 12th. January 12th. Uh -huh. From 5 to 8, 6 to 8, whatever you uh, were able to uh, come over. Absolutely, and it's a brand new series you actually kind of launched it at photo fest i actually the, launched it at uh, the tucuman uh, oh in tucuman yes in argentina, argentina. and but he never made it to houston so now there is in houston you're right right it was only virtual in tucuman. yes yes so this is the first time that these will be printed up and displayed it's a beautiful series with a really really clever theme to it and uh, i think you'll enjoy them you should come by what, is, what else is new? New, I haven't done a lot of work. I'm just, uh, I caught my ears in a commission these days <laughs> on one of those sculpturals and, uh, and that took my entire time and focus. I also been sick for a couple of days, so that slowed things down. That's why we weren't on last week. You yeah, were sick as yeah. a dog. And then um, uh, you were busy creating some small artworks. Yeah, I did. Uh, there ended up being 64 of them. Uh, I went to, uh, we went up to Round Top and I saw that somebody was selling very, very small art pieces, uh, I guess for holiday gifts and things like that. So I created this series of uh, abstracts and I think they turned out really, really nicely. Uh, I'm getting them up, I'm getting them framed up. So uh, they're, they're very cute. Yeah, I've seen them and they are uh, very enjoyable, very 
joyful mm -hmm. uh, and and the colors are nice mm -hmm. and the size i was like so unusual i should have brought one over yeah, yeah. i got them over here but uh, let's move over to what else so uh, a vlog uh, guys we have a new vlog out finally we work so much on it it's so compressed and um yes uh, it will uh, it will show you what uh we've been through and uh, what's new so go ahead to youtube on john bishop fine art channel and uh, look uh, for the art life playlist Ooh, it's 10 15 i think it's the second part of the show let's go let's do it all right so um I prepare for the second part of the show a wonderful piece. I really, really love it. It's a, um, a photography acrylic mounted on a canvas and, and collage. And it, it is an amazing piece. I worked so hard on it, and it's a it's kind of large, thirty by forty or forty by thirty, whatever you want to hang it. It's up to you. Uh, it's called Forever Sunset, and so. Um, right before i started these sculptural pieces i was mm -hmm. exploring with uh, cutting papers and uh, uh, at the first very first result was a 17 by 22 piece that was called uh, three moons oh that yes recently just sold. sold yes and then i have this one on the same style um, hidden here in the studio in a plastic bag and I said oh this would be a great time to to pull it out and refresh everybody's minds um, so those are uh, it's basically the same picture uh, cut on square and then uh, reshaped it and create this like a topographical um, uh, texture uh, layout and then as I put it together I was like I'm missing the sun I'm missing the moon whatever that is and it's a um, I decided to be a moon and as I decided to be red and various shapes and various sizes and I call it uh, forever sunset and in fact the the actual photograph is from Big Bend isn't it yes and it's landscape photography of a sunset and you've just re-envisioned it it's in all like kinds of ways so yeah. you've got these these geometric kind of man-made shapes uh unnatural shapes with mix intermixed with all of the natural uh landscape shapes i think it i think it came out beautifully uh, and i mean yeah i have a mock-up here look how how smart that looks mm -hmm. it's just unusual um i should work more on those because i am i really like them i really like the 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 aesthetics of it and i really think these this was the first step before you went into your sculptural yes, photography yes. Mm -hmm. so the idea of playing with that torn paper and, and collage and and building up an image is is really interesting to me congratulations i think they're lovely yeah so it's available guys if you if you like it uh, it's here in silver sea studios come and ask for it uh, i'll be more than happy to show it to you really really lovely and it needs a home, by the way. Let's see. This one is Plak, and uh, is that Romanian? A Plak, it's yeah. uh, for uh, to like. Mm -hmm. Well, it also means a square in some language. Uh, not really? Yeah. So it may not be Romanian. The uh, Here's another one of my, uh, it's a hard act to follow after your big, beautiful piece. This no, is another fairly lovely. small piece. It's absolutely by, lovely. And I love the colors. Nine by 12. It's also one of these that I did with the uh, mono printing technique with uh, um, with post-it notes, with square post-it notes mm -hmm. and, and ink underneath. So I just really, really explored color. And uh, again, all that lovely, lovely mixture of that those square images that just get softened by the process of, of the monoprint. Uh, I think they turn out really, really lovely and uh, they look great framed. Again, I have one here that is framed for the studio and you can see the size and it has a, um, I used one of the last coats that I put on top is kind of a pearlescent uh, white paint, mm -hmm. which gives it a, a kind of a pearl, uh, yeah, a pearlized kind of sheen to it, uh, which I think is 
<laughs> helped it quite a bit. Uh, but uh, I think it's a lovely size, uh, would go in any room and uh, and they just sit here. So why don't you take it? You know, as you mentioned, I think framed differently, yes. it would be more, more dramatic. I just wanted to give people an idea because they were just in a plastic envelope yeah, before. It's very hard to, to It's hard for them, people to visualize what they'd look like. So, uh, yeah. So this is Block, one in the series of the uh, monoprints that I did uh, before. And I'm starting to play with again because I just found the process amazing. Yeah, I, and, and they, they I, we do have some mock-ups here uh, we put together and they really look great. I, I really do believe that uh, a larger frame with a lot of with some right. white with, around with some more interest with really, bigger bigger matting yeah yes i agree very nice so it's uh, 135 dollars this one it's nine right. by 12. that's unframed uh -huh. and it's uh on um, watercolor paper on watercolor paper mm -hmm. it's all archival good so uh, we still uh, somehow managed to go too fast uh, over, not a problem. Over, but you know, uh, I, I, I talked about earlier about knots, uh, about the, the paintings I had, and I had. Oh it yes, yes, yes. I mm -hmm. had it here, and I, I completely forgot to show it. You know, because it's. I think it's it's lovely, and it's. Oh it's, yeah, you it, didn't it, show it. It before. deserves to to be um, seen as is. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's it's very very nice size and. Um, it has a little it has the little notch out of it just as the natural part of the, which the it wood makes it quite interesting yeah and again it can be framed or it can be it's the, the edges are painted or it can be hanged as is as is yeah really really nice again the colors are amazing um so um great is santa gonna come this year i don't know i've been naughty can't help yeah. it so um great pretty much this is it uh, and this is um christmas it's around the corner happy happy holidays whatever you celebrate you all the best on this wonderful time and um we'll see you next week absolutely this time. have a great holiday we'll see you next week happy holidays guys. thanks again bye bye bye